machined the blank for the flywheel from solid cast iron, three inch piece of cast iron machined down to 72 millimeter overall diameter. This then went into the milling machine on the rotary table with a dividing head and I machined the six holes in the center. I then joined the dots up, the holes up with a four millimeter slot drill. So these are going round every 60 degrees, half the spoke width off from the center line. The matchstick just gives you a bit of scale. So once all six slots were done, I've taken one side of the spokes out. I then offset the milling machine, the spoke width, and did the other side of the spokes. So once I then went round the diameter of the rotary table, I had a flywheel. Now at this point, this flywheel actually looks a little bit heavy. Here it's laying on the drawing that's double the size, but the, the actual rim itself is a bit chunky. So back in the lathe, I machined some of the rim down in thickness from the inside, and I chamfered the edge to visually give you something that looks that bit thinner on the edge. I then back in the mill, set it all back up and machined all of the spokes a bit longer and the rim a bit thinner from the inside. Now, I spent quite a bit of time um, with my hand, the belt sander, moving the wheel around and repeating this on each side and then keep going round and round. Again, the trick with this to make it even was to do it lots of times, not take too much off and do a very clear repeat of the actual process each time. So I counted the number of times I pulled the belt backwards and forwards until I got these round spokes. And here you can see that chamfer and that weight has been taken out the flywheel. It looks much closer to the original drawing now. <laughs> 